A £22 million scheme to protect Littlehampton from coastal flooding reached a major milestone today. The main road alongside the River Arran has reopened to the relief of traders who've been cut off for 18 months. The new defences will last for 100 years, although there's now concern about what impact it will have elsewhere on the river. As Sean Killick explains. Sunshine, smiles and celebrations. Traders in Pierre Road marking its reopening as the new promenade on top of a flood defence scheme protecting thousands of homes and businesses. But technical problems meant the Riverfront Road was closed for 18 months instead of six. The Environment Agency is compensating traders who today just wanted to put their woes behind them. We've lost sort of half our trade, really. So hopefully it will come back and the people will you know, be park out here again. I think we should look forward now. I think we should enjoy what we've got. Um, it's a beautiful environment and it should bring that business tumbling back. So, good news for those now protected on the East Bank. But some people claim the work has changed the currents and is causing flood risk opposite on the West Bank. Well, a year ago, the, this slipway joined the beach at this point, and the beach was at this level, and the whole of this beach has been scoured and washed away, about two to three feet. You have yacht clubs and marinas, lots of businesses, about 96 homes, and they are all under threat because of this scouring. Well, the River Arran is one of the fastest flowing rivers in the country. The movement of sediment and silt you know, within the river happens all the time. Certainly, there's nothing to suggest from my perspective that the scheme is causing any impact on the, on the far side. Erosion occurs there on a, on, a, on a regular basis, but we are working closely with the community over there to see what we can do to reduce flood risk in the future. Sean Killick, BBC South Today, Little Hampton.